Hello and welcome to Slightly Impressive Cephalopod Simulator. My name is Grifter and we are playing Octodad Dadliest Catch Short Number 2 Medical Mess. Uh, the description is Tommy and Stacy make up a story about their dad. I don't really understand what that means. How? Why it's called Medical Mess? What's it? What? I don't know. Uh, but the dev time is 8 minutes and 35 seconds, so it should only take me about eight hours and 35 minutes so uh let's be ready for that um tommy what's this story about what well this is a story about dad okay okay and story about dad he's in a wrestling ring yeah of course he is mm, i think he's at the hospital okay that's he's more likely this. okay yes uh, that's lame why can't he be a doctor? Hey, what's the lame about oh, nurses? He's a nurse and he does nursey things. Yeah, we can do nursey things. Fine. So he goes to the nurse station. Okay. He goes to the nurse station. Um, do I get <laughs> hospitalicious? What do I get to do with the Oh, sorry. Sorry, here, let me just set this back up for you. There, fixed it. Uh, what do I do here? Can I can I get uh, oh, oh, uh, let's just put that, yeah, right there. I want, I want things. I want things. Can I get things? Uh, I forgot how to move. Oh, right, right, right. Up and down. It always takes a minute for me to get the controls down. Uh, there. There, I put the chair back where it goes, okay? So, is this not the nurse's station right here? Are you reading a book at work, sir? Are you... Do you work here? I work here. But do you? You're just wearing a suit. Um, let's just go this way. I mean, this looks like there might be a nurse station over here. Hi! Hi, this looks like a station for nurses. And it says nurse station, so... Uh, find the patient records. Why? Why would I... Nurse Dad had to go help all the patients. Did I? What about these patient records? Oh, we just we keep all the records in that one drawer. There's just there's not a lot of patients. Mm -hmm. This is where we keep our limes. Uh, put, hold, hold on, hold hold on. Yeah, yeah, we keep our limes in that drawer. <laughs> uh, because you know we just we have a dearth of patient records. Really, is what's going on. Uh, yeah, but we got we got plenty of limes. I think we're we're all set in the lime department. Okay. Uh, we're a little bit entangled, but help your patients. Okay, this says 201. So we're just gonna go try to find room 201. Uh, there's lots of patients around here. That No, we don't, we, I don't need you. We're going to 201, because I have the chart for 201. Hello, nice lady. Look at your chart. Look at all the horrible things that are wrong with you. Oops, sorry. I'll, I'll just add broken nose to your chart real quick. Oh, were you asking me to do things? Let's just get rid of that chart then. You seem to know best. Yeah, you don't need medication or heart monitoring or anything. You need pillow fluffing. I went to school for years and years to learn how to fluff your pillows properly. Okay. <laughs> there, there, this is incredibly fluffy, look how fluffy, look how fluffy it is, yeah I fluffed it, there, I'll just leave it right there for you, so that when you're well you can enjoy your fluffy pillow, I assume you're bedridden right now, uh, just let me, let me get, get over this complicated machinery here that's probably not important, and... There. Donuts from the waiting room, please. Here's some money to buy them. Oh, some money. Yeah, you just got fat stacks here in your hospital gown. Okay. Well, enjoy your pillow and your television. <laughs> I like how at this point the game's not even pretending that you're doing anything right. It's just like, yeah, no, you you definitely. Yep, you took care of that TV problem. Okay, what? Get donuts. I don't know, we need another hospitalicious machine, right? Excuse me, excuse me. 
Oh, oh, okay, that is an untraversable doorway. Let's... Introversible? Irre irretraversable? I don't, I don't know. Okay, there's a vending machine here. Hey, no! Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay. This is what I was doing wrong before. I wasn't paying money. Donuts is what she wants. I can't really see. I think donuts are the top one. So we're gonna aim really carefully. Okay, okay, really? Uh, there we go. Oh, we have to hit all the things or there's not room. It's a cleverly designed vending machine. It, it, it's broken. I, I, it, it's not, it didn't come out. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, vending machine. Excuse me. This is, this is how you do this. You just, just stick your arm all up in there. Or, or you know, your leg, whatever the case may be. Okay, so we're just, we're robbing the hospital at this point. It's okay. I work here. I'm a professional. Uh, this is for a patient. It's very important for her to have the proper nutrients and the proper pillows and the proper television. Okay, we'll just get that there. Uh, it's a good thing she gave me so much money because um, I needed to put all of that in there to pay for the damages. Okay, there's just donuts. There's donuts everywhere. This is a bag of three million donuts. Which is, you know, a bargain. I mean, I don't know how much money she gave me, but... Here, I got... I, I, do I have to, like, turn around and hand it to you? Here. Here. Uh, honestly. Uh, okay. Okay, try turning around. There we go. Hello there. I got your donuts. <laughs> donuts to the face. Alright. Enjoy yourself now. Uh, we're just gonna not bother looking at the chart because it doesn't seem as though those things are terribly helpful I guess we can't go into it too that person's just done for the patient who was sad and weird sad and weird oh no oh no is it Chaz? Leforia? the Macarena? you better check my blood pressure to find out <laughs> yes I'm afraid you have the Macarena uh I would attempt to do the Macarena, but but I can barely like walk. Fill the pressure meter. Oh yeah, yeah. We we'll just we'll pressure your arm right on off. Am I supposed to be doing something other than clicking this furiously? Something's something's wrong. Something's something's wrong. Oh, not with you. Not with you. With me, uh, lady. Don't worry, everything's probably totally fine with you. You definitely do not have the Macarena. Okay, okay, we'll just... I don't think this is how blood pressure meters work, but... Clearly not a real nurse. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, that's a good plan. Thanks for telling me how to do my job, lady. I'll shine lights in your eyes! Alright. Alright, hold your eyes still. I definitely will not hit you in the eyes. I'm just gonna shine a light in the darkness of your eyes. Or your neck. Or, you know, whatever's convenient. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> up a little bit, and then... I mean, that's as close to your eyes as I think I'm, I'm capable of getting. There we go. There, it's all up in your eyes. There we go. Am I blinking enough? I feel like I'm not blinking enough. You're blinking. What is it? Oh, give it to me straight, nurse. <laughs> nurse. <laughs> yes, all the medical terms that are not the Macarena. Uh, can you show me on the whiteboard? Yeah, no. Um, over here, you see, it's. Oh, okay, okay, your your upper radial bicarbonate um, phalange right there, oh, and then wait, I'm not I done. See. I'm not done. I have and your lower uh, equine. Um, oh well, that's not so bad. 
Thanks, nurse. Yeah. Oh, way. Like oh. Knows, she. Can fly. She definitely flew away just now. Is what happened because of unicornitis. Um, which empowers you with the gift of flight, even though a unicorn and a Pegasus aren't quite the same thing. Uh. Apparently. We're not going for exact realism in this game. Help your patient. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna we're gonna help this patient. Hello, and patient. Dad met this one guy who was a jerk. Are you a jerk? Well, it's about time. Oh. I mean, my yeah. My bottom hurts. Adjust my bed, nurse. You have, you have been waiting a while. Uh, however, I'm afraid you got the nurse who's not properly trained, or you know, a human being. Adjust the bed. What does that mean, adjust the bed? Well, first we need to get all of this watermelon out of the way. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll just put that over there. Uh, also, we need to get this complicated machinery. Oh, and the, the blood. What is that? Bloop? Bloop? Bloopinol? Uh, I don't know what bloopinol is. How do I adjust the bed? Art, <laughs> no art is safe in this hospital. <laughs> okay. Uh, how, how, I don't know what adjusting the bed entails, actually. I mean, are there buttons for the bed? Here's, oh, oh, this looks like an adjustment that can be made. I'm adjusting, I'm adjusting. Look at all the adjusting I'm doing. You're just... I don't quite understand how this is helping you. Or physically possible. I have to feed them to you? Alright. Alright, alright. Here we go. Uh, nope, we're not feeding bloop and all to you. Here. Here. Does this look like a hand to you? Um, okay. Okay, I'll get the fork then. Mr. Sassy Pants, uh, get over there, um, yeah, no, uh, here, I'll feed this, I'm holding the wrong part of this, I think, but, you know, oh, okay, okay, now I'm holding the correct part, and I believe, okay, we, we, we really, this would be easier if I weren't stuck in a chair, okay, up a little bit, over, get, 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 there we go. And, <laughs> uh huh. Did he eat one? I think he did eat one. Here you go. Nom nom. Get your noms. One more nom. All right. Fantastic. Give me a book. Okay. Hold on to this fork for me. Or just let it jab into your thigh. That's fine. A book, huh? Well, okay. Uh, I happen to know where a book is. Also, if you need any limes, I've got you covered. Donuts, potato chips, other snack items. Quit looking at me. What? Go get back to work. Do your job. Why do I have to take care of all of the patients? Whose book do we want? Um, what book is this? It's got like a like an anchor on it. I don't know. If that's. I mean, this one looks pretty good. It's got a heart. It's called Salty Hearts. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, sorry about your flowers there. Uh, and also stealing your book. But we gotta do what we gotta do for the patients. Out of my way. I've got important nurse business. Uh, this is the wrong room. Okay. Important nurse business over here I've got. Uh, okay. <laughs> here. Here. I. This is a really highly recommended my book. I'll just put it over there on the floor for you. A new IV. I mean, how do I do that? Where are the old IV? Oh, okay. Okay, there's the new. Okay, uh, let's, let's let's leave the door open. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. New strategy. Boom. Open. Okay, okay. Sneak on inside. There we go. There we go. Hey, I got your IV. There it is, right, right there. Now get out of here! I'm sick of your face. Gladly, gladly, uh, what now? gladly. We helped all the people. Yep, we sure did. Oh, the phone rings. Uh huh, uh huh. 
Am I capable of speaking on the phone? Um, I feel like I communicate primarily through body language. I don't know if the blurbs alone will translate very well. Oh, there's the phone. Okay. And on the phone is Dad's long-lost brother. Oh? Dad, it's your long-lost brother. I've got uh, terrible news for you. <laughs> his name is Dad. Patient? Going into cardiac arrest. Uh. Patient alert in room 205. Okay. Thank you, long-lost brother, who is a human. Uh. And also telepathically connected to patient 202. I can't. Get patient. I can't. I, I, I got. I don't. 204? Uh, is it 205? I forgot which- oh, hey there. It's you. It's 205, right. Well, just, uh, <laughs> just grab you by the head there and get you- get you right on up there. There you go. <laughs> Wait, what's cardiac arrest? I don't know, it's one of those hospital -y things they say on TV. Yeah. It sounds illegal. It is highly illegal. Even more illegal than the Macarena. Okay, we got the side flaps. I'm sure is the technical term for these things. Not guardrails, nope. Side flaps. Excuse me while I just stroke your back there. Uh, move over a little bit for me. Uh, a little more, okay, good. Um, okay, head's in the way, and there we go. Side flaps raised. Okay, now we've gotta get him to the prep room. Um, no, stop grabbing him. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> I, <laughs> I like this one. I'm getting all choked up. I'm so excited. I like this one way better than Dad Romance. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, everything... Oh, the prep room is this way, right? I remember from when I was excited not allowed in there. Dad faced a most fearsome challenge. Yeah. A door! Bum bum. Yeah, I have this door issue a lot. Okay, I like that the children are aware of his limitations. With things like doorways. There. Uh, we're just gonna crowbar it right on open. Do we just like walk away with it or what? This is a, it's an interesting camera angle you've chosen to give me, game. There. Yeah, we'll just t toss that aside. Um, it's a good thing there was a crowbar. Just in the operating room lobby. Oh, right. Uh, you're not quite on the gurney anymore, Mr. Jerkman, but... Uh, oh, and now you're a little bit being run over. Okay, okay, okay. Let go of the gurney. Grab Mr. Jerkface. Uh, this time by the arm, so <laughs> a little bit less brutal. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is terrible. Uh you know what? Let's just let's let's just bring him on in. <laughs> does he have to be there? He doesn't have to be on a bed, does he? Here he is. Here he is. We've got another bed for him. Everything's fine. Uh I need to get him up <laughs> on there. <laughs> You know, no, not everybody has the upper body strength for this job. So it's a good thing they called me. There, look at that. Wash my hands. Right, right, hand washing. Uh, there's a problem. You see, I don't have hands. This is a very open operating room. Or OR, as we uh, professional professionals in the medical field like to call it. Oh, look at these. Keep our hospital quiet. Shh. Fire safety. Even hospitals burned down. Okay. Oh, right. Yeah, I like our chosen method of... What is all that stuff? Um, leave that there for the time being. Am I... Is this... What? Is this... Okay, yeah. Yeah, totally washed my hands. Oh, this is the anesthesia, I'm assuming. Probably. I mean... No, that's not... Anesthesia's like... Oh, yeah, it is. There's a picture of it. Okay. I mean... I didn't know anesthesia was given to you 
by way of insanely huge hypodermic needle, but... Okay. There, you're all shot full. Bam. And now we page the doctor. I got him already. Uh, do we use this control panel to page the doctor? Boop. Boop. Dr. Nigel. You have pressed all the buttons. Yeah. Please try again. No, like I was just, I'm trying to, I'm trying to push all the buttons. Hello? Who is it? Well, let's try one more time. Paging Dr. Nigel. All right. Dr. Nigel to the there we go. Room. Um, you know that thing that they say about like the definition of insanity being that you repeat the same thing over and over. His name was Nigel. Nigel, Nigel, is the doctor's name. Okay, X-ray the patient. Anyway, what I was saying is that's not actually the definition of insanity. Uh. And we've proven that here by doing the same thing over and over until we page Dr. Nigel. Okay, but I'm trying to get an x-ray now. Oh, oh, jeez. Nigel, 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 you're in the way. That's the issue here. It's certainly not anything I'm doing wrong. Now I have to get him back up there. Go. 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 Okay, let's get a little closer. Up. Up. There we go. Okay, and now we x-ray him. He's all x-rayed. Well, his leg, I assume, is where the, cardi the cardiac arrest... What are you doing, Nigel? <laughs> I can feel the x-rays. Um, where would I be if I were a scalpel? Excuse me, uh, we're done with this part. Ouch. Yeah, sorry, uh, I didn't mean to... I didn't mean for any of what's happening right now to be happening. Okay, okay, just given all the leg hugs. Okay, uh, and he's back off the table. I feel like x-ray time is over now. Uh, which is, which is x-ray Dr. Nigel? Where's the scalpel? Would I, would, uh, aha, aha. Okay. Yeah, let's... Let's be very careful with this. There you go. A bone saw. Okay, uh, go find that. There's also a tie down there, and I don't care. I don't know, in a box somewhere. Yeah, in a in a waste box. I mean, that's where I keep all of my bone saws, don't you? Bam. It's highly accurate targeting. Okay. Okay, here's your bone saw. Uh, Nigel, I don't know what you're doing. Some guts, huh? I don't know, Stacy. Dad grounded me for a week after my last story. <laughs> Fort Johnson and the zombie hurricane was pretty violent. <laughs> it was my blessing. I want to play that short. Oh, 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 oh. oh. oh okay. A robot. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, I suspected the whole time. So now the uh, I think I pulled his arm off. Hand Nigel a tool. Um, how about the meat tenderizer? <laughs> here you go. Here's the, here's your tool. Here's the tool that you need. That's why he's standing there like that. Nigel, Nigel, you're super weird. There you go. There you go. Um... Open the chest plate. Yeah. Okay. Ew. Uh, are you gonna tenderize him? Okay, okay. Nigel, are you properly trained? Do you even know what you're doing? This is like Surgeon Simulator. Only I have an octopus arm. <laughs> you know, because that game needed an extra twist. Let's leave his hands attached and his legs. So when you say clear the chest cavity, um, are you implying that I need to take out every single one of these things? Because, man, this is quite tedious. Alright, yeah, no, just stand by, just stand by with your tenderizer there. Let me, okay, okay.
Okay, uh, let go of his hand. Why does everything have to be grabbable? Alright, um... Get this out of there. Out of our human analog here. Okay, okay. Getting everything that makes noise out of his chest cavity is what we're doing. Did I clear it yet? It looks pretty clear. Wipe his forehead with um with the paper towels that I threw on the floor. Is that what you're implying? Okay. I mean they're under the desk. So okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. We're grabbing, we're grabbing too many things. Frustration. Ah. Okay. Nothing that I'm doing with the mouse seems to correlate with what's going on on the screen at this point. Get the bone saw just out of the way. There. Okay. <clears throat> there. There. Forehead wipes. It's wiped. I freaking wiped it. It's like oh. his chest they find a broken heart. Yeah. So broken, it goes crazy flying around the room. Yeah. I mean, I hate when that happens. Okay. I caught the heart. That was actually incredibly easy. What happened to your limbs? Are you kidding me right now? I was so careful not to get them detached. Okay. Boom. I guess. Boom. Oh, leg? Leg? Is that... Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, the game is assisting me quite a bit with the targeting at this point. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And... Let's go a little bit closer. Stand by, Nigel. Stand by. There. Now what? Okay, oh. not a robot anymore. Oh, okay, good. Oh, we have to... Oh, oh, bad things. Bad things. Let's defibrillate him. Defib... Defribu... Defribulate? Is that how you spell that word for real? Okay. Alright, alright. Uh, uh, around. Okay. Clear! <laughs> I'm pretty sure I defribulated his butt. Uh... Sir? Sir? There. Uh, yep, right in the face. Okay, okay, well, let's wait. Wait till we're at full strength. Bam! Oh, okay, okay. Thank you, Nigel. Thank you for the instructions. Uh, high fiving. Not as easy as you might think. Okay. Yes, we did. Low five. Look, this is this is ridiculous. Get it. Pound it. Okay. All right, uh, let me just go find a wheelchair. Oh, there's one. Come along, patient. Uh, this way. Okay, okay. Uh, over, over here. Yep, thanks for switching on me so suddenly there, camera angle. It's all right, I'm a professional. Okay, yep, no art. No art is safe. Uh, 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 yeah, let's just make sure we get all of the art. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> No, didn't didn't make it. It's all right. We'll just resituate and um, we'll go with the legs first this time. Hi, yeah. It's interesting ragdoll physics we've got going on here. Um, this is some really good anesthesia, which is good because I mean, he was a robot for a while. Okay, that sentence didn't make any sense. I've ceased all higher brain functioning at this point. Let go. Let go. Listen, camera, you can't do that to me. Not now. And Dad brought the not-a-robot anymore patient back to his room safely. Yeah. Alright. Back to the room safely we go. So safe. I have all the safety. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, you are watching us, huh? I hope you're not a relative. <laughs> um, also, your husband 
might be a robot sometimes. But I think we cured him of it. Alright. Alright. We're, we're trying to walk. And it's not going that well. But we're making it. We're making it work. And everything's going to be fine. I feel like we progressed pretty quickly here. But, uh, but it still took us 30 minutes. From that <laughs> alien lady, and the only cure for unicornitis what? is jet skis. Oh, I was so flying. Us some sweet jet skis. I was flying, but I was still attached to the wheelchair. That's what was happening. <laughs> okay. So, I believe that's the end, yes? Yes, that appears to be the end. Okay. Um, that was awesome. I hope there are more in the future. More like that and less like Dad Romance. You know, I just I didn't enjoy Dad Romance as much as this one. This one was quite enjoyable. I hope you'd enjoyed it as well. I'm going to stop talking now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.